How do you store your Lego pieces? Is it easy for you to find things in your collection? Uh, just yesterday, I joined in on a live stream with a Lego freak over on his channel. And it just so happened that another person on the stream, Genblade8304, was looking for a couple of parts for a Technic set. And then he got to looking in my store. And I'm standing right here where I'm standing now. <laughs> And I was going to search on my computer the part that he needed, but he actually found it in my store before I did. And it turned out it was just like right over here, just like within arm's reach of me. And that's the great thing about the BrickLink store is everything's numbered. The boxes are numbered. I, know I can find any... If it's in my store, I can find it in just a matter of seconds. Usually, it's just a, it takes longer to look it up where it is than it actually does to go to where the drawer is. But what about your personal collection? Now, not everybody keeps a database like you do if you're selling things in a BrickLink store. Well, this is my dilemma, and I want you to tell me in the comments below how you keep track of where things are. It's pretty easy when your collection is small. I mean, all through my early first 20, I say early, but probably the first 25 years of my collecting, it was pretty easy to know where things were because I didn't have such a large collection. It's really only in the last 15 years as my income has gone up and then with the help of YouTube that I've been able to amass a larger collection. But now I have the dilemma of it's hard to find things. So how do you find things in your collection? Well, if you're new to my channel, my name's Joseph. The channel's Brigzar. Subscribe if you like seeing all kinds of things Lego related. And today I've been working on doing some organization in my collection, my personal collection, not in my store. And one of the things in my personal collection that I like is my Disney Pixar cars. I have the Duplo cars, you know, Lightning McQueen, Mater, and all those guys. And I have the Juniors and then the regular brick builds, which are a little better than the, than the Juniors. Watch out. So today I went through and inventoried my collection. I try to put things back together by the set uh, but I did find I did run into some problems with that but basically I ended up filling up two boxes R6 is the number and R7 and before when I've done these videos I've gone through and just showed you each thing well R6 is all the standard brick built ones R7 is all the Duplo ones I am missing about five out of here I know at least three of those I have in boxed form somewhere else in the basement. I just don't know where. And I was missing one for the regular brick built ones, but I found that one. And I actually used the data that we got in the previous inventory videos. It was in box P38. I was missing this set. I don't know, for some reason, I guess I never built it. I thought I had built all of them. Uh, so this is the Tokyo Pit Stop. Still sealed and never built it. Went through and I laid out all the cars on the dining room table. Went through all of them. I tried to put all the sets back together in bags. Uh, there are going to be missing pieces uh, because we got things that got separated from the actual set. But for the most part, most everything's there. The Duplo is going to be a little more challenging because I don't know where some of the pieces are. But I'll eventually uh, find them. But I made a list. And I wrote, wrote down everything for box R6. So there are, there's 27 different sets from the regular Cars theme. I have all but four of those. Well, actually, take it back. I have all but three of those. Three, and the three are the three-in-one sets. There's three different three-in-one sets, which are just compilations of others. And the only reason you need to collect those is if you wanted the box. So I have not collected those. I probably should if I want to be a true completist. And when I did, did my inventory, I was missing, like I said, the Tokyo Pit Stop, but we went and found it. And I do have all the new ones from the new Juniors line. We got those in that box. And then I went through the Duplo. The Duplo, I was missing one, two, three, four, five, six that are not in that box, which is labeled R7. So I got to go find the... I know, I know some of them I have. I just don't know where I put them, like I said. But, you know, there's... A couple of different ways you can store your collection. My storage system in my personal collection has been horrible. So that's why I'm working on doing it this way where I'm taking inventory of what I have. Even if it's not complete like these, some of these I don't know for 100% sure if they're complete, but I know where the vast majority of the parts are. So I got it labeled. I'm going to go put these on Brickset uh, so that I can use Brickset uh, to find my inventory. 
Now, I got a couple of different methods that, from people I follow. Uh, for instance, uh, one is the Kevin Hinkle method. You know, Kevin was a longtime Lego employee, community ambassador or whatever, and now he's in the private sector <laughs> of us regular Lego collectors. Uh, he's a very interesting follow on Instagram and Flickr. He likes to build the sets. Uh, some he might keep together, but I'll, for, it seems like for the vast majority, he'll build them, enjoy the build, and then he'll take them apart and separate them and put them in drawers similar, similar to these. And that makes it easier to find parts. You know, you group things by part, and then uh, if you want to build something, you, you know where to find them. Uh, another method is, and it's actually similar to what I did back in the day, is the Brickatech <laughs> method. And now for the sets, he likes to keep the sets together. Uh, he'll build them. Some he'll keep on display. Others he'll take back apart and put in the box. And that is what I did all through the 90s with my castle, uh, with my, my town sets. I would take them apart <laughs> and put them back in the box or put them in bags where I, I could keep track of them. And it wasn't in... I mean, in fact, when I went to sell things in the early 2000s that I had collected through the 90s, it was easy to verify the completeness of even used sets because I had kept everything together. But the last, I'd say 18 years, pretty much since 2000, as my collection has grown, I have not done that. So I'm going to work on doing my collection. I want to get things together by set, get all the main sets I have organized, and then I'll work on the pieces. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be a long process, you know. Uh, uh, I've got a playlist of the inventories, and what we've done is just a small portion of what's in my collection, but hopefully over time we'll get this thing under control. I'll, I'm going to still work on selling some duplicates. I got some things on eBay. I was really happy I finally sold something on eBay. We sold Jabba's cell barge, and I got another thing that has a bid on it. So I want, I want to be working on getting some things listed on eBay. I may do some videos here on this channel or on Brickzar Toys where I'm just kind of like offering things and let people tell me what they think they might pay and they can just pay me directly, uh, maybe at a lower price than what it would be if I sold it on eBay, but it's better for both of us because I don't have to pay the eBay fees and you get it at a lower price. So if that's something you'd like me to do, let me know because I got a ton of stuff already upstairs in the in our master bedroom. <laughs> that I need to sell uh, but uh, anyway I that I was sorry about rambling but I'm just down here looking at uh, thinking about this and I want to do a video on it so kind of show you what I'm going through um, not really enjoying building anything I really thought about building this Tokyo pit stop but I may save that for another day build it and then flatten the box out put it with the other boxes actually I had the boxes flattened for most of those sets and I was able to put them in the same box with the sets but uh, yeah I need to take some time to build things from time to time but today was more of an inventory day so I hope you enjoyed this video again if you you like Lego like old Lego if you're a fan of old Lego a fool like me hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video <laughs>